Hi everyone, Kathy here. First I wanted to wish everyone a Happy New Year. Um, I hope everybody has a good year this coming up. Um, I am personally so glad that 2015 is over and looking forward to starting a new chapter in my life. So it's kind of a bittersweet situation, but I am glad that we're starting a new year. So with that said, I wanted to share with you all just a quick little project that I worked on for a friend. She is having a birthday and she wanted me to make her sort of like a little um, ring box, jewelry box kind of thing. And what I did is I created this for her and I'm going to put a gift card in it. So after she uses her gift card, she can keep it as like a little keepsake for her rings. And um, with that said, I'm going to show you real quick what it is. First, I'm going to show you, I made it out of, again, one of these little Dollar Tree boxes. And these things have really come in handy. I had bought several of them. And these are the ones with the, um, you can see how it's shaped here. And then I bought some that are just totally square. But these for a dollar were really a super great buy. I have a lot of different projects that I have in mind that I'm going to create with those. But the one that I made for her is this little jewelry box kind of ring box. I don't know if you can see it very good. And that's the way the top looks. And I did a little flower cluster up there. It says friend here. There's pearls in here, different color pearls. There's a doily behind here. Um, all the, These are her favorite colors. So I did the uh, different colors. I gessoed all the flowers. It's all glittered up. I don't know if you can see it all the way around, but it's really, it has a lot going on on the top. And then here I, uh, oh, by the way, before I did that, I crackled the whole thing. And this crackle finish is so simple. You don't even have to buy the stuff that you have to spend so much money at the store. All you do is paint whatever color you want to come through. And then you um, paint it over with Elmer's glue. And it just crackles all the paint and then you paint over it what you know whatever color that you want. Look how pretty that comes out. So I crackled the entire box, as you can see. I did put these little pearl feet on it. And then I also put this really pretty, it's not coming through very good, but this really cute like dangle pearl trim. I put um, another piece of lace trim here. And then I put this really cute, tiny, tiny dot pleated ribbon all the way around. Here's the doily. You can see it's hanging down on either the front and the back. And I put a pearl here. I think I'm also going to put like a little dangle here because there's a little hole here. But here at the top, you can see there's pearls. There's a key under here. There's um, another metal piece here. There's some gems in here. And over here on this side, there's another metal flower here with a pearl on it. There's some little, um, what do you call those things? You know, the little, they're like little flower sprigs you put in there. Some little tiny flowers. There's some little um, crystals in there. And then all the flowers are sprayed with um, glitter. And the inside, I've left it plain. I think I'm going to put some felt in there, some black felt in there for her. Or maybe even some blue. I'm not sure yet. But that is the little box that I made for her. And like I said, she wanted like a little mini, like a little um, ring holder or, you know, something for her bedside table. Like, you know, when we all take our jewelry off at the end of the night. And so I thought this was really cute. You know, I worked on this for her, and I, I hope she likes it. But I definitely like the crackle finish that it created with um, the paint and the Elmer's glue. And I will show you that probably in another video because it comes out really, really cute. The only bad thing about doing that on camera, you need to have drying time. So it doesn't really, you can't do it all in one video. So that is, and again, I made it with these little Dollar Tree boxes which are really super easy. And I haven't been on for a while because like I said, I've had some life changing things going on that um, you know, I'll share with you. I've been working at a particular company for over 23 years 
and um, December 31st was my last day there and it is bittersweet but it was it's a good chance to move on to um, something else that I am working on so it was sad to leave I struggled with it I cried a lot but it was it was a good move for me so I just have to um, wrap my head around it a little bit and try to forget about it but you know it's hard to forget 23 years at the same company so but you know I look at it as a, a new chapter in my life a new beginning and I always think of everything in a positive way so I know that I'm making a positive move um, I just need to leave my emotions out of it and move on and I'm sure it's going to be a much better situation it's just sometimes it's hard you have to make decisions sometimes that are life altering but you know it, it was time it, w it was definitely time and um, that's that's it so I haven't been on camera for a little while because like I said I've been trying to close out everything and get all my stuff together and so it's finally done uh, the 31st like I said was my last day and my goodbyes were said and now it's time to move on to what I'm gonna consider bigger and better so that's why I wasn't on for a little while but I have been working on stuff behind the scenes I just haven't had a chance to come on air but again I you know like I said I made this for my friend her birthday is in just a couple of weeks and so I created this adorable little box for her I hope she likes it and like I said I'm gonna put a gift card in here and after she uses a gift card she definitely can keep this as a little momentum so that's it for now I also wanted to share with you guys in another video this huge bag I don't know if you can see it here from Michaels it is it is all Christmas items but I wanted to show you the fantastic things that I purchased and I definitely don't need any more Christmas things and I probably have Christmas items for the next 10 years but of course every year you know they come out with new cuter things and we just all have to have them so I am going to try to um, shop my stash for the next few months until I get myself situated in my new job um, because you know everything is new and different and you just gotta you just gotta go with it so with that said thank you again I want to appreciate all my subbies all my new subbies and all my all my subbies for always watching my channel and leaving comments I do appreciate it I haven't been able to answer anyone like I said recently I haven't been on camera and I haven't been answering any comments because I've been struggling with um, this new move of mine but I'm over it now and you're gonna see me back and I'll be responding to everybody and I hope everybody um, enjoys watching my channel and my videos and that's it so with that said I hope everybody has a good rest of your day and wishing you a very happy new year for the upcoming year so that's it thank you now bye